classic Mango Cup. Man, he was telling Aiden last night, we were on Friday night, we were, it was Mango Lud Fridays, we're playing mm. Valorant. And Mango says, you know, you guys aren't going to have Summit without me. You're not going to make me campaign. And Aiden said, you think we won't, bro? Like, call my bluff. <laughs> and, it, 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 and this whole conversation happens on, you know, both Ludwig's and Mego's Mego streams. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I love Aiden with this much power, by the way. He, he is truly a TO's TO. Uh, we're getting into it. It's Mego pulling yeah. out the Fox against Pluff. Hey, okay. I like that. I like that. And by the way, by the way, uh, ooh, yeah, this is this is the first time Mango Pluff have played with Pluff Cheek. Uh, so not not Fox, uh, Pluff went Fox in over a year. That's crazy. It's crazy, right? I wonder, I mean, he's probably explained it on stream. I just haven't been able to tune in. But what are his, his thoughts on Falco on, like, I, you know, he's obviously preferring Fox by playing the character. Yeah. Maybe he thinks Falco dies early or uh, maybe it's a rollback thing. I'm not sure. I, I really like this. I mean, I remember statistically speaking, just I always would, would look at the numbers back. Because remember, he had a bunch of those sets where he kind of waffled between Falco and Fox. Um, and remember, some of the classic Mango versus Plum moments were with the Fox, yep, right? right? Like that windmill combo, right. you know. But it seemed like Mango had kind of switched to Falco more f more fully more, in the last uh, year or two. And yep. then just last week, I'm seeing him grind at Fox all of a sudden. I'm like, what's going on here? He'll play it against Zane, too, you know, in their friendlies. And you're like, you always wonder if he's going to pull it out against him. But but yeah, it's, it's really interesting. While we while we wax uh, philosophical on Mango's Fox, it was Pluff actually taking a really clean stock oh, yeah. early on. And now it's quite even. Why do you think? Oh, what an what? F tilt, bro. So he like... I think he wiggled out and like landed, and so Mango just totally didn't expect that. He was like, "I got the advantage here. I'm gonna push my, you know, push this this punish and pumps his <laughs> runs has him run smacking his FL boot. Wiggling's that new shit, dude. It is. You it know, is. how shield drops with that new shit. Now it's wiggling. Wiggling's like the new new. Well, Sung somewhere in Texas is like, <laughs> I did this. Shout, I did shout this. out to Sung. It's funny you say UCF though, because that is something that UCF now fixes is mm -hmm. the wiggle out of uh, tumble consistency. Yeah, I feel like we're going to see point. a lot more point. more wiggle shenanigans in the future. Up uh, with a pretty pretty clean follow up here. He's also just reading Mango's options Ooh. out of action oh. ability and taking a lead. Three right there. Using the very tip of that back air hitbox. Yeah. Oh, Plup just going for raw grab here. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> he has nothing to lose. Me Melee dude. is a grab centric game. Like there's there's no tech throws in this game. You either get it or you don't. Mm -hmm. Especially at that low percent, it's like I'll just go for it. I'm gonna stock up. Oh, I got yeah. full needles, like CC everything. Rip it. It's Plup here looking real nice on game one. Oh, quick shield drop back here. Oh my god. Th that's the Plup we know and love. Is the fast platform movement Plup. Yep. Ooh. Oh. No. And did Mango just not? recover because he gave up or did was he just surprised he got by caught that? under the battlefield uh ledge right he 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 drifted he held left and he was under the ledge and i think he just realized what was just gonna grab the ledge and yeah, yeah. That's you can't go you can't go too low you know can't go too low I'm straight into pokemon stadium here yeah mango sticking out with fox too pokemon where dreams uh are are made it's like the disneyland of melee <laughs> Yeah, it but is. Any, <laughs> anything is possible here. And, you know, pre slippy there were even little attractions. You know, <laughs> That's right. Like, there we were had Splash Mountain. We, you know, <laughs> they took out all the good rides. They took out all the good rides. Yeah, they they were, rides, they were yeah. dangerous. Yeah, the club fell through the stage once and they closed everything down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh, oh club. What he's getting a these grabs, grab. man. He's just he's so he's playing very well. His bobs are great. I say that Mango does do a wake up shine, so we a little late there, but. He's looking Ooh. really, really solid, and Mango trying to find some footing constantly. Well, what I've always liked about Pluff is, like, as a Sheik, like, yeah, he can he can react and check chase with the best of them. Um, on a, on wow. a bad day, though, or on, a, on an average day where he's not hitting the really... Because it's a tight reaction. His combo game and his sense is so good that he still can cover a lot of stuff, even if he's not hitting the perfect reaction tech chase. Right. right. I, and people say, like, it, it like you, you look at Sheik tech chasing like a Fox, and, like, you know, your average chat shooter will be like, you know, Resident Sleeper, all that. It's really hard. Really it's hard. It's really hard to do. So when people do it consistently, like face roll or something, it's like, it's something to kind of marvel at mm -hmm. consistently. Mm -hmm. it takes a lot of practice. Some days you feel like... Some days you have bad days. Yeah. And Absolutely. then what? And then, exactly. And then what? And then and then that's when the, you know, the real champions are made. Shroomed. Shroomed. That's right. And then, yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice down tilt. Plump Ooh. doesn't like it for some reason, but he does get the, the kill off of it. Talking about Plup's unconventional style, we've seen him approach with down air more than once in this yeah. game, too. I mean, that's a really uh, uh, uncommon cheek option. Movement read, for sure. Ooh. There you go. Very nice. Sniping him on the way down, though. 
Yeah, you're always looking at what Sheik's opener is. Oh my god, he gets past that crouch cancel percent with a nair into grab. Th that's the dream for Sheik at, when Fox is at zero. If you can land a weak aerial into grab, then you're set for the game. Yep. Yeah. But if, if, if Fox starts DIing out of the weak hit, you're in trouble. Nice catch Ooh. there, Mango, knowing exactly where he's going to go, that platform. Also smart to land on the platform. Puff's oh! really evasive. Mango yeah. getting these catches like it's the outfield. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, that's two in a row. Two stocks in a row yeah. with that up there. Oh, that could, oh, Mango going for... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my god. Buddy. Calm down, bud. <laughs> It's not Norwalk Tuesdays. Stock lead, and he just holds shield. This is the adaptation. You know, Pup's throwing a lot of nares, a lot of aerials, and the shield gets him out of trouble, but also into an entrance situation nice. later on. That's a tough one, though. That forward tilt, catch him on the way down. Mango Diaz in. Pup's so evasive on this invincibility period. Bash attack misses. Mango's all over him here. Nice. Ooh. Caught him out. Could be it. Where does Pup go? Oh, no. Okay. Ignorance. Chilena. Ooh, nice. He rolls this time. Nice. How frustrating is Fox's up smash that even when it misses, it still hits? It sends you <laughs> off stage yeah, again. Sends, like, <laughs> maybe even a better end guard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Plum's saying right now. Yeah. All right, the set is getting interesting. 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one and still all Fox. Is Plup a mid-set switcher? I can't remember the last time I saw it, but I could just not have a good memory at all. But is there, you know, is he a uh, guy who will mm. go the Fox after? I mean, he did go Samus against mm. Left. Wait, did he go Samus initially against Levin at that Evo? That sick Evo? I forget. Um, Either way, it's something to think about, you know what I mean? Because Plup's Fox is yeah. world class. I don't know that I've seen him necessarily switch too much mid set. No one's switching. All right. So yeah, Mango State Fox, Plup State Sheik. Yeah, you do get a little worried when the game quits out again because it's like, oh, they just they mashed and didn't know someone was going to counter pick. But right. same right. picks. Nice. Ooh. Is that it? Wow. It. Early it. stock for Plup. Plain. Oh, yeah. Mango's so wow. good at these up airs. Holy wow. crap. So much extra damage here. Up tilt trades at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. I, I think he's definitely too abusing. Like you were saying, the down airs from Plup, like the unconventional aerial approaches, Mango's instantly abusing it with things like those up airs. Answers right back. Yeah, you can't get away with him for too long. Back on the ground. Oh, oh. <laughs> that could be scary. Mango, holding forward here. Dude. Oh! oh he was going to land and then do a double jump back air, Toph. <laughs> he was going to do some stuff. Yeah. Well, now the edge guard almost. Okay, still in the corner though. Mango in a little trouble. And those, again, those nares. Pup almost addicted to them, oh. it feels like. It's wave shine up smash off the top. That was awesome. Yeah, catching Plup DIing in too. Plup's DI on those shines has been actually really crisp. Earlier, he, like I think Mango had to really struggle for some follow ups due to Plup's uh, SDI. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, that's crisp. Got under him, yeah. Shoo. Porter barely not connecting there. Mango has another lease at life. Oh, addicted. Dude, I, I, I understand it. <laughs> Nair Nair is an addicting move. It is. I feel like you want to just keep doing it. <gasps> oh, he makes it oh, back! Wow. It doesn't take any extra credit, but Plump did the Mr. Cool guy. <laughs> he did. Not yeah. looking at the kill. Nice tech. Oh, Ooh, Mango empty. landing with empty shine. So yeah. sick. Nice up tilt trade. Up oh, Ooh. wow. Yeah, that's going to kill. That's insane. Uh, if it's not on the side platform, I think he lives that with that DI. Oh, Dreamland, yeah? So much of these uh, these big oh. Mr. Mango have been just catching Plump coming down, really abusing yeah. Sheik's one weakness, which is her poor drift. And when, when she gets above you without a double jump. 100%. I, I mean, let's see how, uh, how the set goes, but I'd love to see his uh, neutral opener be up air, you know? <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, I wonder if Slip even counts it as a neutral opener. Or if maybe, they're in the air, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's still like punished or whatever, I'm not sure. But it would be significant. The the, the people know. The people know. Nice fair to get Mango away. Oh, we left the platform yeah. from that. Oh, that hurts. Mango's me. honestly gotten so lucky <gasps> to stock. That wave dash shield was so sick, dude. That's Ooh. like trademark Mango. Mm -hmm. Wave dash in, out of shield, into shine, 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 punish. Yeah, that was so cool. And then even covering the air dodge with a quick down smash there. Mango looking nice on Dreamland as Plup kind of picks it right back right here. Right back without even a second to think about it. And here's the reaction tech chase we're looking for. Reads the missed tech there, but Mango shines out. Oh, oh no jump. Jump. The jump. Yep, goes straight to platform though. Mango, great shine into up air follow-ups. Definitely an extender over your standard up smash combo. Oh. 
Is that wow. it? No he way. He traded too, knowing Plump's going to come down with an up air. He trades at a low percent up tilt. Doesn't matter for Mango, and then he gets a follow up. Early Dreamland kills for Mango, getting the perfect percents on a lot of these options. Nice walk up forward tilt by Plup. Dash attack. Ooh. Come on. Hello. And Mayo getting a weird turnaround there. Actually set him up pretty nice, but in the corner. All right. Let's see if Plup can open him up here, uh, with a grab here. We haven't seen too many long tech chases. It's mostly just been a scrap from both these players. Yeah, math-wise, it's like Mango just explodes with a stock that, that ends up getting deleted, and Plup kind of has to work. He feels like 2.5 times more for it. Mm -hmm. So if these are wild down airs, right? These are wild. I've, down I've never seen a Sheik approach like this. Plup, great dash tech tech chase. He's gonna pick the stock up. <gasps> yep. Addicted to the nair. Yeah, like, yeah, just laser. <laughs> just, uh, just needle. <laughs> AKA laser. Yeah, oh, dog. Does feel like a laser. Whoa! Oh Whoa! my god. Speaking of, oh, that, that worked out for Plup actually. It did. It did. Sketchy situation for sure. I wasn't sure what was going to happen at first. Ooh, raw grab getting Mango in the run up shine. And this is a long tech chase here. Throws him off. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. Shine grabs out of that plank. That's insane. Wow, great ledge dash by Plup sneaking right under Mango and getting the favorable trade position. <gasps> wow! Very nice. Smack. Okay. Shmrat. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Young Plup right now. Yeah, he's looking good. Yeah, can't count Mango out, but it's a whole stock down. Um, but man, it, it is really interesting to see the, the, the momentum shift of the set because Mango came out real hard earlier. Mm -hmm. Here we go, might happen again. Drops the drill shine follow up. Now it's Plup's turn here. Ooh, drops the dash attack. Oh no, what is that jab? What a nut. Plup reacting so well on these tech chases. Even gets the in place. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, what a little tiny baby high side B that got him back. Oh Mango, he tried to milk that hit stun a little too much. Oh, she wanted that. You win the game if you get that one. Yeah. Oh, I love ending it earlier with the down smash, knowing dash attack won't actually oh. combo. Mango missing dash. the Dang. ledge dash. Fan Wispy. Plup doing the finger smack thing. He's doing the, you know, the, the, <laughs> the like in the high school. Thing, yeah. yeah, the dip thing. <laughs> Plup's a dipper confirmed. Oh, dipper no, dip. Plup. Nice pressure in the corner here. Ooh. Oh my god. Whoa. Big turnaround oh, Plup. Plup. Ooh. Ooh. The nair? Ne needles? No. Oh, Again. Oh! Addicted. Addicted. Okay. Oh, but she's it's still going. Wait. <gasps> oh, he could have upered that toe. Oh, he could have upered that forward that. But he's too cool for school. Oh, but, but Plup has every roll. Mango finally gets away with ledge jump. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. Plup playing the way he wants to play, dude. Dude, is this going to happen? <laughs> Young Plup? On Yoshi's, it feels like a, Whoa, a tall my order. God. But, Whoa. Oh my God. Teleport DI. Yeah. <laughs> this is the sort of the sort of smash that makes it look like your game glitched out. <laughs> but it didn't. It's just Plup. Oh, Plup existing. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Go. Mango reminding oh. us about the up airs. Let me show you the up airs that you guys forgot about. <gasps> oh, what? Okay. Oh, no up air from Plup. Yeah, really good recovery there from Mango to get to that side platform instantly. Nice call out there. Oh, Plup fights back. Get a our, little slippy lag. Our, our relay. The players are fine. Ah! Do not worry. Do not fret. Toph, what's yeah. the phrase? Oh, the, the players are not experiencing any delay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, dude. <laughs> Don't yeah, worry. there's no, there's no way their faces look this. Uh, yeah, no, they, they quit the game. Yeah, yeah, they Plup breaking the game with his madness. Yeah, Mango trying to bring the world back together, or or vice versa, depending on how you look at the uh, world. Right. He wants to link the fire slime. Yeah, he wants to, it's all Dark fire. Souls. Mango getting a lot of a uh, lot of headway here. We actually might see the set end before it's over because of the lag. So don't freak out. We'll get the. We'll get the true story afterwards. Plup? Mm -hmm. oh, wow. He has been doing that back up forward tilt. Like, it's, and, and it's scary for that exact reason. If you're just a hair off, you get burned. Yeah, burned and dead, man. Burned that and is dead. so burned rough. Wrist. But Plup gets one back. Maybe Randall's here. No, the back is still here. I was about to pull away. Wow. Oh my god. Game five, last stock situation here. 
I'm so scared of the the client ending before the game's over because like oh, when the, they quit out, it's over. The, right? client, the client is smooth now, slime. The client is smooth, but there's a little back air, back lag, back air. Okay. No, the, oh. the slippy gods hurt us today. <laughs> Let's hope so. Let's Club. hope so. Full stock of needles here. This defense. What a jab. Oh, oh. you can't you can't hit Mango Shield. He'll come at you. Shine planks. Oh, they're Blink. leaning back. Yeah, plus, 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 Something plus. happened. What happened, slime? We still get the player cam, it's delayed. Ah! Plup on, not playing anymore, Mango also recovering. No, Wait, Plup won! Plup wins this! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Plup is going to Summit 11. Holy smokes. Okay, so that's <gasps> what happens, we learned at the end, is that the player cams remain on the timeline, and then we have to catch up on Slippy. Right. And we have to guess from their expressions. <laughs> so we saw it, and Plup looked like he lost, but he oh was just relieved. He was god. just like... <laughs> it was the, just the... Dude, and then wow. all this, yeah, everyone's just playing without the hands on the controller. Wow, what a set, honestly. That was anyone's on that Yoshi's game for real. Plup is back. <laughs> Plup, if for anyone for anyone questioning the whereabouts of this man in the Slippy era, safe yeah. to say... So he's, good. He's activated. Wow, dude. I was, you know, I was talking about Sheik's oh, earlier, the so J sick. Crew and oh. Ben and all of them and stuff. Yeah. And uh, plus the Godfather, man. Plup is the Godfather. He's the one that doesn't have to campaign. You know what I'm saying? Does That's not like, have to campaign. What I was thinking about mostly is like, hey, you want this mid tier, whatever you call mid tier, upper high tier representation. But Plup is Plup is sitting there and he's making all the decisions at the big desk. Yeah. And he says, you know, Mego sleeps with the fishes tonight in lower, <laughs> lower bracket. Jeez, dude. Unknown what his openings for kill were. <laughs> I'm guessing five, but that's just a guess. Could be a five or a six. Yeah, one of those. Wow. God, what a set. I wish we could watch that for another five more games. But Plup's going to move on here in the winner's bracket, and Mango's yeah. going to have to fight it out in losers. Absurd set. Man, he played like he, his, his catches out Mango with those up airs and the up smashes and just calling out Plup's. Most of the time when Plup was in the air, it was a problem for him, you know? And then Plup got on the ground and. Addicted to the Nair, Mango you got hit by him a lot. Yeah, such an interesting uh, stat there that that was his most common neutral. I mean, I just think that Nair, you know, it has more damage, so it's more shield stun, right? So it's sometimes a better mix-up when you're actually shield pressuring a Fox player. Mm -hmm. But either way, it's like Plup could kind of pick whatever aerial Sheik has, and he would make it the most common neutral opener, just because his movement is that insane. Yep. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Could be up or next, you know? Yeah. Um... That is bonkers. Mango's gonna have to do it through wow. losers. Mango's gonna have to do it through losers. I think that if I if my understanding of the bracket is correct, <gasps> Mango is gonna have to go through Hungry, Hungry Box. Box. No way. Hungry Box. So. Yeah. Uh Jeez. winner of match <laughs> <laughs> True, is this the case? Is this the case? Uh, this, sorry, we're gonna have a bracket this in front is, of us. This but is we're what just Mango kinda... Yeah. No, I, I believe that is the case. That is it will be Mango H Box. That's super interesting. And you know he was scared of him too. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like this is the guy that Mango's been worried about the whole event. He's like, I might as well DQ because I'm just gonna play H Box and losers. Also and after three owing Sunsei, it's like, okay. Wow. You know? Yeah. All we're, right. We're gonna get into that shortly. A twist on it. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, take man. a quick break. Um Who's our best fat next? It's gonna be the run back from last week. Also the champ from last week, you know. That's right. Can't can't forget about Wizzy's insane run. Excited to see what Wizzy can do today, gotta tell ya. But uh, we're gonna start with Wizro Best Fat, just like we did last week. Stay tuned for that right after this.